Aaron Zef here and welcome to Zombies Noir Overview. This is something new, <laughs> essentially for the platform and for the technology. I mean, we've had like an introduction of mixed reality gameplay with I expect you to die. So I know stuff like that can be very much impressive and immersive, like because the environments are blended in together, like your emotions about stuff can be very different comparing to virtual reality. <laughs> Though as a side note, I can't play it here because I don't want to kill myself. So we'll transport ourselves to my home for this overview. So Zombies Noir is a mixed reality action game where your goal is to defend your home from zombie invaders coming at you from multiple directions from the Noir city. Create your own personal mayhem using arsenal at your disposal. Concept wise pretty neat. It's essentially like you put doors in certain like I don't know walls or directions around you and the zombies start coming in waves from those places. So it's kind of like a wave shooter but towards the center and coming at you. What's cool is that you can kind of see the world outside through them, though I don't think it's gonna be possible to explore it. I will certainly try to put myself inside of the outside. Like it's so interesting and refreshing to see because it's a new usage for that technology back when hand tracking was a first experience as well. I don't expect much complexity, but in terms of the mechanics, I hope things work properly in terms of throwing and just shooting at targets. It's definitely one of those futuristic concepts that we might see more often when the quest free launches. Though for now we have to stick with the basics to learn to play in them. <laughs> Let's go kill some zombies. Okay, so what do we have here? A fake table in front of my real table. <laughs> Capture app. I mean, I don't want to mess with the recording. <laughs> like. Set up the pass through, the guardian, the room scale, the bullshit, like it's just too much, but we're here. <laughs> I suppose let's just do the tutorial first and then we'll see. I mean, I don't expect the game to be too hard, though I guess it also depends on your actual play space. Equip the blueprint tool. And I need to place the doors. I mean, yeah, <laughs> duh. I guess it makes sense to put in the real ones as well. They're kind of broad. I would put here one on the window side and maybe behind me just in case, but like not directly. <laughs> Shops placed. What shop? Wait, I don't know where's my table table. <laughs> Maybe on the sofa because I don't go there anyways. shooter oh my god <laughs> like it's always so scary to go anywhere here your ammo is displayed on your wrist press B to eject your magazine okay so we have those standard shooter mechanics <laughs> oh shit myself you can upgrade weapons at the shop Place your key shooter in the vice grip. And we upgrade. <laughs> I have a mirror here. You can purchase weapons from Tom B's shop with noir coins. And then damage, health, barricades. I mean, I'm always damage person.
Are we good? So there will be start coming, I suppose, from those doors. I mean, he's not coming from them, like it's from the side. But okay, like they, it's the gist of it. Oh, it automatically places, okay. What's up with the walls having like... Holes in them, like <laughs> my apartment is falling apart. What about the accuracy? Oh shit, my ass off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get off me. <laughs> Chaotic, but like in terms of the art style, because it's not completely blending with the environment. The UI here four coins. Well, I mean, I guess that's it. So the spawners are random, like place in the room you set up. Not the actual zombies. Can I like pick up those coins? Oh, those are free upgrades. Okay. Each wave. Let's see the... <laughs> What's happening here? I guess this? Long range weapon that increases power the more it damages targets. Aha, okay. I see. But a trusty pistol won't hurt. They're not making like enough noise for me to notice sometimes. Did I lose some health? Like, I can't tell from this bar. I mean, I'm a pistol guy. Ah, damn it. <laughs> there was a dual wielding one. If there will be an occasion, I mean, actually, there is. I would like to go out, kind of. I mean, you can kind of see the world. But I need to take care of some business here. 
Okay. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh, on my shoulder, okay. Can I switch places? I don't really know. I mean, I decided to have like holster based equipment, which you can do from a weapon wheel as well, but it's gonna be in the main menu, okay. It's kind of inconvenient, but we'll see. We won't be able to <laughs> reload it like that. I will get mistaken. Stop throwing at me. I need to go to collect them. Mm. Last wave. Oh. Something big is coming. <laughs> No, get off me. <laughs> oh my god. I have space. <laughs> okay, well, I think that was barely. <laughs> oh, it's exactly the same. Spawners. The thing is that this pistol is kind of slow, like I can't shoot faster. <laughs> So far I know the gist of it. Wave-based shooting game with objectives as well, I guess for a bonus coins. I mean, now I kind of start to ignore my real environment and just focus on the gameplay though. I guess the multiplayer also gives you more damage.
I'll pass. Though maybe... It's like the guardian satan is turning on, then my room, then like it's chaos. Let's try it like that. I'm a master gunner. <laughs> Does not seem to be good. The last wave, and then we can finish, I think. What the? Some fatties. Ew. Disgusting. Well, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> barely. Okay, I mean, I see what's going on and. Um, it's cool, but there are definitely some things to upgrade, especially that I can see just some holes and discrepancies in the, I don't know, environment generator. The textures are, of course, on the basic side because it's mixed reality, so that's not the focus. Though, immersion-wise, I preferred the I expected to die situation where like everything would be clear to see and blending with everything you have in front of you. This is kind of like half and half. So if you don't mind it, then that's cool. Also in terms of the weaponry, at least in terms of pistols, I wish they would be like faster. I keep spamming, but on higher difficulties, like you can only do so much and it's not gonna save you. Unless you have a big play space and then you can just <laughs> run around. But this is one of the first wines of its kind, so it's just gonna get better and better with more time pass by. You can equip some perks for better like starts with the waves, like yeah. To be even comparable on the base level to the virtual reality gameplay, there needs to be some kind of level of polish and keeping up with the standards of the industry, so We'll see. I tried. I can only do so much, but it wasn't half bad, I guess. <laughs> I'll see on the footage.